and I came home to a new couch the other night. 14 grams of protein in here. This is massive, like travel stuff. I had like a mini breakdown. Food is done. I booked my flight! You want to escape the nine to five, dreaming about the life that you want to have, but you're into your job because you've been trained from the time that you were in school that have placed it. And so as you're going on throughout this life, I get so seriously because you've forgotten who it is that you are. Read the rules of your own reality. Seriously, you're taking it all I'm so seriously. Even our spiritual journeys, even the journey that we are on to unlearn. You guys are probably wondering what the hell is that? I got a free couch. <laughs> um, one of my coworkers came up to me and she's like, hey, random question. Were you looking for a couch? This was a few days ago and I wasn't vlogging. I wish I was because I like, it would have been such like a great surprise. I'm gonna actually sit on it because I can. First of all, hi, if you're new here. My name is Jill, welcome. I don't know what kind of vlog this is gonna be, like a day in my life, a few days in my life. I'm just gonna take it as it comes, but I have some plans today, but we'll talk about that after we talk about the couch. So I wish I was vlogging this day because I actually had like so many different things happening that were so new and I wish like I could have thought ahead and vlogged it. This is the problem when you don't think ahead, like you don't like, you miss out on like some content and stuff. But I made a TikTok about it, um, but I never like, made a YouTube video. But anyway, my coworker like came up to me randomly at work and she was like, hey, like do you happen to be looking for a couch? And I was like, yeah, actually I have no furniture. <laughs> she was like, well, I was gonna get rid of mine because I'm, a new one is getting delivered like tomorrow morning. This was like the night before. And I was like, how much are you selling it for? Like, of course I'm gonna ask that. And she was like, I'm, I'm not, like I was just gonna toss it. She's like, it's in great condition, but I just like, I need to get rid of it. Like I need, to get room for this new couch and I, yeah i'll take it so tyron rented a u-haul or we rented a u-haul tyron went to go pick it up um with one of our friends thankfully they were available while i was working because i had to work in the morning and i came home to a new couch the other night like it's not like the color i want i prefer white i wanted a white couch to like match the aesthetic like i wanted to have like the vibes the way i wanted it but it was free and I just saved myself $2,000 for like a really nice white sectional. Um, it's from Ashley Furniture. I asked her maybe look on Amazon for like a couch cover or something. This is just like a placeholder couch, but it's so comfortable. I've fallen asleep on it already. Little life update, I got a couch. So thank you to my coworker. I don't think she'll ever see this video, but I'm very grateful. Um, and then she like gave us some throw pillows to like have with it. So I'm like, sure, I'll take it. I didn't do like a coffee montage this morning because I wasn't planning on vlogging today. I don't know why. Um, I have the day off. It's actually a Saturday. Um, for some reason they gave me Saturday off. So I am actually gonna go shopping today. I have to find a birthday gift for Tyron. And then I have to finish, you guys are gonna be like, Jill, what the fuck? Um, Christmas shopping for some family up north because I'm going up north and I'm gonna book my flight home today. So I like was like, oh my God, it's actually like a big day of me doing stuff and like, I wanna share, you know? I wanna share the small mundane, like my last vlog where I'm just cooking at home. I wanna share the big fun things. That's like what I wish I did the other day. I worked my first nine to five. Um, I'm cross training for a new position at work. Um, they just needed like someone to know how to do something and they thought I would be a good fit, I guess. I don't know. So I said, sure, like I'll, I'll learn. I'm always up for learning new things and I actually really liked it. And I had such a good day and I wish I vlogged the day, but I digress. I'm gonna let that go now. It's been a few days. I need to get over it. So anyway, I'm gonna go shopping. Um, it's actually almost four o'clock. I just like couldn't get myself moving today. I spent the morning with Tyron. We ate some breakfast. I had my coffee. Um, and then he went to work actually. And I've just been sitting on the couch like reading. Sitting on the couch. Sounds so fun to say. So I just like could not get myself up. So I was like, okay, Jill, go get dressed. Put an outfit on. Go get dressed. Tidy up the apartment so at least it feels better in here and it definitely does. I put the dishes away, fix up the living room a bit, made the bed. So like I'm gonna just get my day going right. So I'm gonna go to the mall. Okay, I just got to um, the mall. I am a big like online order girl lately, um, but I love a good mall, especially for like 
certain things like I never really order like makeup and stuff online I usually go in stores but if I'm ordering like random shit I do Amazon you know um so we're gonna see fingers crossed I made a whole list of things I want to get I have a few things I want to add to my cousin and her wife's um Christmas gift um I have it all but there's just like a few little things that like I keep thinking of like because it's I just like I love giving gifts this stuff stresses me out a little bit because I just want it to be like just as good as it can be you know like I don't want it to be like subpar like I want everybody to love what they get I have to remember like it's a gift it's the thought that counts you know like I have like I go back and forth with just like how I want to give things to people um my mom's birthday is coming up so I'm gonna mail her a gift um I'm gonna get it ready hopefully it's like it'll be almost done by like tomorrow or a few days from now so I can ship it to her so she has Tyron's birthday is coming up so we have a lot we have to go over, people. Um, it's a big gift day, and I just want to get it all done. Um, I just want everything in order. Like, I don't want to have to, like, still be thinking about it. I just want it all, like, done and good, and, like, we're good to go, you know? So, let's head inside. I don't want to be in here too, too long. I want to kind of, like, go through everything pretty quickly and then, like, get home. Because it's so gloomy out today. Like, I don't want to be outside. <laughs> products i'll give you a haul when i get home it's been a few hours um i'm home guys i'm not gonna lie i had like a mini breakdown <laughs> well i shouldn't have done this in the first place this was my own fault but i was like trying to figure out flights like while i was trying to shop like I, my mind can't seem to focus on one thing so i was like on expedia i was on the apps like in my car like when I was parked and I was gonna go to another store and like just browse and I had like a mini breakdown because I was stressed because the flights that I'm trying to find to go home like the weekend that I'm trying to go home the flights are about three times the price as they normally are and I think it's because of spring break because it's at the end of February and I like had a mini breakdown because I was like, oh my God, it's like, it's expensive. Like truthfully, it's out of budget. Like if I'm being fully transparent, it is. And I was like, I don't think I can swing it. Like I just like, if I can like try to go home a few weeks later, like why wouldn't I do that, you know, instead of spending. But I, it's still upsetting because I already requested the time off. Like I had every plan with every person back home in place, just needed to book the flight. And I like, that's how much it can cost to go to like Europe, you know, <laughs> like I'd rather spend the 200 that I normally spend to take a two hour flight. So anyway, I had like a whole stress breakdown. Like I was so stressed out. I tried to make myself a smoothie and I'm reading a book, starting a new book. It's called Funny You Should Ask. It's just so good. We'll talk more about it when I'm not talking about this. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know. I'm in like a little <laughs> mental hole right now. I'm gonna let myself just sit here for a bit. trying this again it is another day of this vlog it's a few days later it is monday i think yeah it's monday um i spent the rest of that night just on the couch in a burrito reading my book that's it that's what i did and we're better i got myself out of like my little mental hole sometimes you just like need a second to like think things through and then you're good i just ordered some stuff on doordash from target i just needed a few random things so I got some random things. Everything should be here. We're missing something. I don't know where the last thing is, but milk for coffee. I'm almost out. Oh, I got some kombucha. I just love having this at night. It's my favorite, the Synergy Trilogy one. This is what I do. I'm on a kick for like forever of one thing until I find the next thing and then I like hyper fixate on that so for a very long time it's been this kombucha and that's fine we're gonna keep it that way i got two i was craving greek yogurt but like specifically this kind the vanilla light and fit 
Um, it's by Dannon. There's 14 grams of protein in here. Dylan actually told me about this yogurt. I tried it like forever ago and I loved it. So I'm very happy. I'm gonna have this for breakfast, I think. And then um, I got some strawberries because, oh, it's dripping everywhere. Okay, I haven't had strawberries in like forever and I was craving them, so I got them. The last thing was green grapes. Where is my phone? I gotta, I gotta say that I didn't get that. Maybe it wasn't there, okay. I think it wasn't available, I just checked the green grapes. Just got a few little things. I'm gonna make myself a coffee. I haven't had a coffee today. Um, I did a little journaling this morning. I finished my book last night, so I can't read this morning. I need a new one. I finished it completely. Um, but I'm gonna have more of a chill day, like home, because it is my day off. I have a busy week ahead. We have a massive tournament coming up and I'm working four doubles in a row. I'm gonna have some chill days over here. Um, I have some hauls I need to do for you. The Sephora haul from the other day and then I also need to do Amazon. I got some stuff on Amazon and I haven't opened it yet because I want to open it with you guys. So I will show you that once I open it. So let's make a coffee. <gasps> so I had placed an order solely for like one item. I wanted my creamer. It never came. <laughs> I guess they didn't have it. So I just realized I'm missing two items, not just one. Oh, they were out of stock. I'm going to put this all away, make a coffee, and then we're gonna get the day started. coffee I made it without the creamer today so let's see how it tastes it's good it's just like plain like there's no flavor other than coffee which I used to really love I go through my ups and downs on like bitter sweet bitter sweet I'm in the middle right now because I love this I'm gonna start drinking like plain coffee again and then I made my little yogurt bowl super good I'm just happy to have yogurt in my life again. I love like rediscovering old favorites. I used to love yogurt and then I like was like not into it and now I'm into it again. Mm hmm so good. Taking a mini break from getting some stuff done and I wanted to open some packages with you. We are in a new angle today, guys. I'm in front of the couch. I don't know, it just felt cozy today to sit here. Um, so here I am. I don't feel like standing in the kitchen as I always do, so I'm gonna sit on the floor. What even came in? Okay, it's telling me I think more was delivered. Something might be missing from my packages, but it's okay. Let's start with the box. I'm not exactly sure what's in here. Oh, I'm excited! So I ordered some gifts for, oh my God, I wanna get one of these for myself. I get my friends and family things that like I've never had, but I know they're good products, but like I refuse to buy them myself. I don't know why I do this, but I do. So my mom's birthday is coming up in a couple weeks or like actually a week. Oh my God, I gotta send this out to her. Um, so I got her a few things to go in her gift. One of them being this book. I got my mom a few things for her birthday. I wanna send it to her in like a package cause I won't be there on her birthday. I've talked about this before in other vlogs. Mom, if you are watching this, go. I'm gonna have to warn you before I post all these because I, she watches all my videos and I love her to death for it, but I want this to be a surprise, Mom. So I just read this book, The Midnight Library. Absolutely obsessed with it. It's the one my best friend Zoe recommended to me. So I had to pick up my mom a copy because it's so good. I want my mom to have her own copy. Anytime I like read a really good book, I get it for my mom because she loves to read as well. So I wanted to put this in her little like birthday gift. Hannah Marissa, get out. I know you don't watch my videos ever, which is fine. Leave. If this is the one you decide to do, I'll be so annoyed. Get out. Get out. Get out. Please. I'm like, I'm asking you nicely. Please get out. Okay? Thank you. I got them a few matching things um, for Christmas. I got them. Like, there's gonna be a range of things, but I don't think they're big, big journalers. They love shopping and they love buying clothes and stuff, which is why it's really hard for me to shop for them. Even like some stuff, I got them from Sephora. I got them a few products each and I didn't know what to get because I'm not with them all the time. They share everything, so I don't know what they have because they like, they have so much. I know they, especially Hannah. Hannah, I know you love your products, bitch. I know you love your products. Just fucking winged it on this one. 
um, but I don't know if they're big journalers. Something I wanted to get them is a little different from um, like normal like products and clothes and stuff that like I would normally buy. They're up on the trends these two, so I was like, you know what? I don't think they're big journalers, but I've heard so many amazing things about the five minute journal. Um, I don't have one. Um, I've always wanted one. I think they're absolutely beautiful. I feel like everybody could use a good journal and they're really cool because they have all these prompts. So you're supposed to do it like every day and it's just like day and night. I am grateful for what would make today great. Daily affirmation. That's during the day. It's literally just three lines. That's it. It's like one sentence, two sentence things. Highlights of the day. What did I learn today? So this is what it looks like. And it, it's basically like this throughout the entire thing and i've like read the reviews and like some good some bad it just depends on like what people like to do um but at the beginning it has like all these different quotes and talks about like a morning routine and growth and i don't know i thought this was like a really nice gift because even if they don't use it they could use it as decoration okay it's a pretty book so i got a black one and i got like the oatmeal colored one this is the one i want but basically, you'll see as I get more gifts for them that come in, I'm doing them like matching gifts, but just like different colors because I think they will like them. Um, I don't know, fingers crossed. So I just, these are, they're beautiful books. They are such nice quality. I hope they like it. Um, so I got those. I think this is, this is what I think it is. Oh my gosh, okay, wait, I literally thought this was one of their other gifts. It's not, this is for me. With me coming up to leave, to go home, I, wanted to get myself a new travel bag because i wanted to <laughs> i've been using the same one for probably like four years now and i just thought it was time for an upgrade it's from amazon uh -huh. here we go i'm so excited um i'm sure you guys are familiar with the brand base it's um shay mitchell her travel line she like created a travel brand um this is not that this is the dupe for it because i didn't I, i'm being cheap and i didn't want to spend like that much on a bag but i really wanted one it's this massive like travel duffel it's in this like cream color it looks like this it has like gold accent detailing it has a massive center pocket oh my god i didn't know it came with this it has like a strap to attach so i can carry it over Ooh, it comes with like a little travel like makeup bag situation and it comes with shoe bags so i don't have to put my dirty shoes in here so the center pocket is massive and then I didn't even know it came with this and also I have no idea how to like if I need to charge this or like how the hell this works oh I do okay so this bag comes with a, like a built-in USB cord so it look I think it's like a charger or something so basically you charge the bag <laughs> it comes with a USB right here so like I plug it in the wall and then this is a little battery I'm pretty or not the battery but like the charger that's it's like a portable battery um and i when you travel you plug your usb in here and it's attached to the back so you, and then there's like a literal pocket right here i hope it works i don't know if it'll work but we'll find out um and it has like a lot of pockets on the inside perfect and then the cool thing about the bags that i'm like that i love well there's a lot of pockets first of all so you got side pocket another side pocket a front pocket that like is velcro a back pocket that zips goodness gracious and then the cool thing is at the bottom it's for shoes that's why it came with the shoe bags this is like the worst haul ever because i feel like you can't really see but there's this bottom pocket so you can put your shoes in so as it fits under the seat this is going to be used as my personal item it's my hack for not having to check a suitcase because my main fear with checking a suitcase is not spending the money on the checked bag it's the it getting lost and me having no clothes because then i'm like what's the point of that because then i just like spend money on checking the bag and i have to buy more new clothes wherever i am so you know try to avoid that um so personal item so once i run out of room in my carry-on i have this and it'll fit everything i thought that was something else um the brand i don't even think i said is e-tronic e-tronic 
I will have it linked down below. Um, I got it on Amazon for like 35 bucks, I think. Really nice bag. Um, hopefully it's good quality. I'm very excited for it. So in my cousin's gift, um, the two of them, I wanted to give them like a funny gag gift because we're always laughing at stupid shit. Um, no pun intended and you'll see why. Um, I found, I looked up just like a puzzle on Amazon because I thought it would be really funny to like get them a puzzle, like something that could bond the two of them, you know, whatever. Cause like it's a couple's, this is kind of like a couple's gift, you know? Um, and I found this one, 101 pooping puppies. <laughs> it's a thousand thieves puzzle. <laughs> Basically, it's just a bunch of dogs shitting. So random, very off-brand for me. <laughs> um, but I think they're gonna laugh. They're gonna be like, Jill, what the fuck? I did get some products from Sephora. I spent a pretty penny there, um, but this is for my mom, my cousins, and I got something for myself. So um, for me, I just got myself one thing. I got myself a mini version of the Tarte concealer. I got myself one because I haven't used it in like a really long time, but I love it. For my mom, my mom also loves her products and I know that. So I got my mom Laneige. Is this, focus, is this focusing? Laneige lip stuff. This is the vanilla one. I don't know if she's ever tried this one. Her and I usually get the same one. Um, so I thought I'd get her a new one because they last so long. My mom loves it, so I wanted to get her one, so I did. And then I got her the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I just got her a trial size in case she didn't like it, um, but I think she will. This stuff smells so good. So I got her that. So that's going with my mom's gift as well. And my cousins. So I got them each coconut face mask. I don't know like who's getting what. Like I said, they share everything. So I got the, the Sol de Janeiro um, perfume. This is the pistachio and salted caramel one. This one smells very good. I am very jealous of. Um, I got a mini version because I don't know if Hannah has ever tried this. I know Marissa will like it as well. The Super Goop sunscreen, the unseen sunscreen. So this is what it looks like. I got the mini version just so she could try it. I'm very jealous of this. I wanted to get one for myself, but I don't need it at the moment because I have sunscreen. I've seen this all over TikTok. The last thing I got was again the same um, Sol de Janeiro cream, cream, lotion, cream. It's lotion. This is lotion. So that is what I got today from Amazon, Sephora. I wanted to like tell you guys what I got from Sephora because it's been long overdue. Um, I'm very excited to give them all these things. I am going to make myself some lunch and then I'm gonna get some more YouTube stuff done. I have to run over to the office at my apartment to ask if I can get a key um, for the gym. So normally you can like go through the office but there's an after hours key when the office is locked because it's kind of like all connected kind of confusing but there's another door you have to go through if you want to go when the office isn't open basically and I need a key for it so I have to go get one and if I get one I think it'll help me with working out more I've learned that I work out best in the morning so if I'm gonna do workouts I'm gonna do it in the morning and that's what we're gonna start tomorrow Just made lunch. I did the classic. I've been doing this for years. I go through phases of wanting it, not wanting it. I made eggs and veggies. The other day when I was like working my nine to five, <laughs> um, I prepped some veggies because I had time in the day, which was very nice actually. So I felt like making some eggs today with it. And I made myself protein smoothie the size of my head. <laughs> Strawberries, bananas, blueberries, some of that vanilla yogurt, vanilla protein powder, flaxseed, oat milk, and I think that's it. So good. I'm gonna eat this and I'm gonna get some more like computer work done. I'm not like, I don't have any plans today. I talked to Holly, we might do something tonight. We might not, plans are up in the air right now. Oh, another package for me. We'll come back for you. Just got in the car. Tyron and I are. Oh, God. 
We're going to Whole Foods. We're picking up a few things for dinner because I haven't gone grocery shopping this week. Um, I got like a few random things here and there, but like I don't have anything for dinner tonight because my ground beef went bad and I was gonna cook that for dinner. So now we don't have any. So now we're gonna go find dinner. We're gonna decide what we wanna eat tonight, right? Once we're there, yep. we'll think of something. We just got back from Whole Foods. Instead of like ordering out, we decided to get like a rotisserie chicken from Whole Foods. My ground beef went bad. That was actually my original plan. I was gonna cook tonight. I had great intentions, truly, and it went bad. I didn't cook it fast enough. Um, so we went and got a rotisserie chicken. This from Whole Foods. Um, I'm actually really excited for it, and we're gonna be able to have it over the next like day as well, like tomorrow. Lentil soup for Tyron. Um, and then for me, I got myself some potatoes. It's like garlic pesto potatoes and some garlic green beans. So I'm gonna eat this with the chicken too. Whole Foods is cool because they have like this like little buffet, but it's Whole Foods, so like good for us, right? <laughs> um, so we're gonna be eating this soon. Hang out the rest of the night. We're not gonna do anything crazy. We're gonna stay in, hang out, cozy night in. We have dinner here. I pulled out the ketchup and the garlic salt because Tyron said the chicken's kind of bland. It's not the cutest looking, but I think it'll all taste pretty good. Good morning. Another day of this vlog. It's actually 12:30 right now. Um, I just got out of therapy. I had to quickly get ready and go to therapy, so I was like not vlogging, but I'm like off the coffee montages lately, or like the intro. I used to usually start off the vlogs like that. I've been nursing this for like three hours, it's gross. Um, but I just got out of therapy. It was a good session, a little rougher than normal. Um, I just had more to share struggles, so I'm not down, I just like, it's just like heavy, you know, it's heavy stuff. So I'm gonna go to H&M, <laughs> um, not to like shop for myself actually. If I do find some things I like, I will be purchasing them. Need one more thing for my mom's birthday gift and then Tyron asked me to look for something for him because I told him I was going. So I'm going to do that. Um, maybe I'll look for a few more things for when I go home. Oh my God, I booked my I'm so excited. I can't wait to see my family. Why am I singing? I don't know. I just cannot wait to see my family. I'm so excited. Ah, so I have, I have 20 days under three weeks until I go home. I have three weeks or under three weeks until I go home. Um, I cannot wait. The drawbridge is going up on the bridge um, in West Palm. So I'm like sitting in, in a, at a stoplight on the bridge because the drawbridge has to go up. It goes up every half hour. And of course I hit it. Anyway, so I'm going to H&M. We're gonna, you're gonna come shopping with me. And then I'm gonna go home and we'll see what the rest of the day looks like. I don't have any plans today, so I'm just gonna try to enjoy the day. Vlog has been so chill, kind of, besides my little mini breakdown. And then, yeah, just a bunch of like shopping lately with the Amazon hauls. I, I promise this doesn't happen a lot. I know I'm like posting a lot of like consumer content, but like I don't really shop a lot or spend money a ton on like clothes and stuff so um please bear with me i'm just like it's just a big like gift type of like week and thing to go home and all that so please bear with me so anyway that's all i have to say I'm trying to like come down a little bit from my session it was just like it was just a lot i always say this in my vlogs about like going to therapy it's so important no matter what life situation you've been in i'm just trying to come down from this a little bit because as much as therapy is like you know you see people talking about how great therapy is it's not always easy to like share things and like be open and vulnerable but this is someone you can trust and someone you're literally paying to sit there and listen to you don't be hard on yourself that's what i got out of this session like you cannot be so hard on yourself no matter like how big or small your struggles have been to you you have worked through things that have not been easy regardless of what it is be proud of yourself don't be so hard on yourself give yourself grace and keep moving forward every therapy session i take something away even if it's small my therapist actually pointed that out to me today she was like use 
take something away after these sessions? And I said, I do. We talk for an hour, even if I only take a minute of what she said away, I'm still taking something away. Anyway, off to H&M I go. Okay, I'm actually at TJ Maxx now. I had this like weird experience when I was trying to go to H&M and like right next to a parking garage, this like man approached me. I decided I didn't want to like stay in that area too long because I got uncomfortable. So I, um, which sucked. Many hours later, I'm pouring myself a glass of kombucha. I went to TJ Maxx, I got a few things. I will show you that later. I'm going to cook some dinner now and eat and relax because I've been out like all day. Um, and that is my plan. So I'm gonna cook some pasta. Also, cheers, cheers, cheers. We ran to Trader Joe's. I got more ground beef because mine went bad the other day or yesterday, whenever, whenever it was. Um, so I got more because I really wanted to make this still. Um, my chickpea pasta and then my marinara sauce is the Good and Gather brand. It's like the dupe for the Rayo. Very straightforward ingredients. So that is what I'm cooking tonight. I'm very excited. I'm very hungry. <laughs> dish this and try it i know it's gonna be good i already had like a taste just to make sure along the way so i know it's gonna be good good morning it's about mm, a week later editing this vlog hi um i realized i never ended it this vlog was so chatty i feel like i did a lot of shopping i'm sorry um it was just a really like big gift giving week um moving forward won't be so much like consuming content um a lot of like routine stuff getting ready for my trip home all of that coming up just wanted to say that to end the vlog because this kind of ended abruptly i didn't even realize like i just like stopped vlogging but i guess i did so um yeah i just want to say hope you guys enjoyed this vlog it was a long one and very chatty so um i love you all i will see you so soon in my next vlog also I've been really bad at posting videos. I've been filming, but I've been bad at posting. I'm trying to get back on my editing game. It's been a busy few weeks at work, but I still want to be like posting consistently. So I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.